This post has been updated. All staff at Puerto Rico's iconic Arecibo Observatory are safe after Hurricane Maria roared over the island. SRI International, which helps manage the huge telescope, said Thursday night that they were able to make communication with a small team who weathered the storm there. There had been radio silence from the observatory since early Wednesday morning, hours before the eye of the storm passed over Arecibo. In Puerto Rico's northwest, the nonprofit will assess damage to the telescope itself once roads are cleared and the observatory becomes accessible. According to the National Science Foundation, which owns Arecibo, the observatory is outfitted with generators and a well for water. The staff on site have enough fuel and food to last them a week. The eye of the storm passed Arecibo on Wednesday afternoon. According to the National Hurricane Center, a weather station near Arecibo recorded wind gusts of 108 miles per hour all across the island, high winds and torrential rain felled cell towers, ripped roofs from buildings and turned roads and rivers. Now all of Puerto Rico is without power, and Arecibo, along with the rest of the island, is under a flash flood warning. According to NSF spokeswoman Ian Collins, flooding on the highway has completely cut off the western part of the island, where Arecibo is located. Local officials told NSF they think it will take three days just to reach the city of Manati, located about halfway between San Juan and Arecibo. The Arecibo Observatory, in Puerto Rico's northwest, is home to the world's second largest radio telescope. The 1,000 foot primary dish, built into a sinkhole in a mountain range, has been used to discover the first exoplanets and detect organic molecules in a galaxy millions of light years away. Dot is where the fictional astronomer Ellie Arroway got her start in the movie Contact and where real scientists Frank Drake, Jill Carter, and Carl Sagan, among others, launched efforts to detect extraterrestrial life. The observatory has been closed since Monday so staff and researchers can make preparations for the storm. The telescope's primary dish is made of a mesh-like material that doesn't hold water, which helps it handle storms, and there is a generator-powered sump pump beneath the dish. Planetary scientist Ed Rivera Valentin said he and several others would be riding out the storm at Arecibo. On Tuesday evening, he tweeted weather data taken from the observatory platform that showed the telescope being buffeted by ever faster winds. Radio astronomer Robert Mencham shared photos of people putting wooden and metal storm shutters over the control room windows. But around 11.05 p.m. Tuesday, Mencham said he lost power. We'll be tweeting by SMS if network stays up, he said. As of Thursday afternoon, that was the last message he'd sent. The webpage that Rivera Valentin had shared displaying weather data from the observatory was also offline all of Wednesday and Thursday. On Tuesday, cameras on board the International Space Station captured dramatic footage of Hurricane Maria as it swirled toward Puerto Rico, a churning mass of white clouds punctuated by a dark pinhole of an eye.